Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a video on your best qualities. So this is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Hi pile number one. So today is going to be what are your best qualities? Now I know you guys are super amazing. So we're trying to just pick out your best qualities. My bad if it gets super, super lengthy. Um, but I mean... If your spirit guardians want to tell us on and on and on, then that ain't my fault, honey. Okay, so first of all, you are trustworthy, you're compassionate, you're well-respected, you are cultured, you are funny, you are fun, you are brilliant, you're professional, you're diplomatic, you're happy, you're positive, you're optimistic. You always know the right thing to do and the right way to do it. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> people look at you and they're like, oh my god. Like, people who weren't able to be with you, this like, you're a missed opportunity. You're the one that got away for a lot of people. They're like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you have a lot of mystery to you. People look at you and they're like, I want to get into that brain of theirs. I want to know what's going on. So there, people are really curious about you. They think you're a really honest person and you're logical. Like things that you do just make sense, right? And you're you're like magical. You're like a magical little unicorn. Um, so you are a spiritual person for sure. This is a spiritual pile. You're <laughs> people look at you for information. Like they come to you and they're like, okay, so what am I supposed to do here and here and here and here? And sometimes it like gets really overwhelming for you, but you're able to keep it together. Like you're so open-minded and you're so giving and loving and just like smart that like you, you already know the answer. So it's like, okay, fine. I'll tell you. <laughs> so, um, you're able to like set yourself aside, like, um, take time to like calm down, like relax and see things from a different perspective for other people. Like, I guess like you're just very like neutral like I guess that even with um saying like you're diplomatic so you're able to really sit down and be like okay let's let's think things through let's see what's going on let's figure out what the right thing to do is um and yeah you can come to me you can come to me for anything that you need and you know you ease the path for people people are able to just like calm down and feel relaxed and feel confident in themselves by talking to you just like being around you makes people more confident like you believing in them and having this like bright sunshiny optimistic but like strong like you're a strong person um and you're just like self-assured so all of this you're like yeah yeah heck yeah yeah I'm <laughs> like all of this um people just you you are just amazing people really like look up to you and even people who you would look at like other people look at me like man they're so cool like they're so unique whatever whatever and then it's like you're the most unique <laughs> not to put you on a pedestal okay nobody is better than anybody but we're talking about your best qualities here so I don't know that's how it's coming across <laughs> So you, again, oh my gosh, life is magical for you. See, I told you, you're freaking magical. And you're the magician in here. So you just, you have every resource available to you. I feel like you're the kind of person that like, anything you want to try, you, you end up being good at you know so it's like oh I've always wanted to play the harmonica you know like pile number one definitely plays the harmonica <laughs> so it's like you've never actually played it you've never tried it you don't even know how to read sheet music and yet you you can figure it out if you wanted to you know and you're like yeah I'll figure it out whatever it's not that hard and then people are like are you kidding me like, it took me three years to figure that out so People just find you really original. Look at that ingenuity. Yeah. You're just exciting. You're always up to something different. People can't even keep up with you. There's always something different going on with you. 
like you don't ever like dim your shine and if you do like maybe sometimes you get sad and maybe sometimes you like question yourself and feel like you need to hide yourself away because you're so different from other people you're so unique from other people but in reality that is just so beautiful like that is the most like we're looking at your best qualities so like literally anything that you feel like you should like dim or like hide about yourself is is so beautiful it's so beautiful okay so you're reflective of people people can really feel like i think because you're so unique and you're so um well versed in so many different things that people can connect to you really easily like we have this soul family card and i feel like a lot of people look at you as if you would be the best family member to them or you are a family member to them right they, they they see you as their own they see you as somebody that they can trust that they can that they respect that they look up to that they feel safe around keepers of the earth so you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so you're really in tune with your div divinity you're really in tune with um who you really are, right? So in those moments of quiet solitude, even in those moments of self-doubt, there's so much beauty in that because you're able to reflect and then strengthen yourself back up. So like any sort of feelings where you're like, oh my gosh, sometimes I don't feel like I fit in. Sometimes I don't feel 100% or I don't feel like being this happy, outgoing, optimistic person. Like that's normal for everyone. But in those moments that you feel like you want to like, go into a cave you know and hide yourself away from the world and like replenish yourself you just get stronger every time and you you have such a strong faith and belief in yourself and it's because you understand that you're not alone because you understand that you're surrounded by your guardian angels you are surrounded by your ancestors you can feel them you can see them you communicate with them whether you know that or not don't dim in to fit in exactly you don't you don't and even if you do sometimes it's so hard for you to <laughs> to dim in because it, you're just you're a star you're a shining star you're a beautiful shining star and it's just it's amazing no matter how many times like look she's shielding her eyes but everybody can see her you are so seen and you are so beautiful. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. You are a trailblazer. You are a trailblazer. You break free from any sort of self restraints that you have. And that is amazing. That is some, yes, just say yes. So for you, like, you're just down for whatever sometimes, like, that's what I see is like you just have so much fun and you're just like you know what I'm not I'm not gonna dim in I'm not gonna follow what other people say and what other people you know other people are doing like yeah they can do that that's fine that's on them like that's exciting whatever and I'm I'm down to like go with the flow sometimes but I am a maker of my own path like this is my life. This is my future. This is, I'm having fun and I'm going to figure out the best way for me to do that. I'm going to follow what's in my heart. And people through that are able to, something so interesting that caught my eye just now is this little white dot right there. What does this mean for you? You're able you know, a really good quality about you is you're able to distinguish between good behavior and bad behavior within yourself. And you're able to distinguish between things that are in your past and how to leave them behind and how to learn from them. You're a really good example for other people and for yourself. And that's something really good about you is that you, again, with being able to like take a step back and replenish, you're able to, you're so like self-reflective and self-aware you're self-aware and you honor those parts about you yeah 
you're knowledgeable and maybe people even see you as this king of swords who hides these feelings like these deeper feelings these reflective feelings about yourself like maybe you don't give it away all the time but you're burning with passion you're a passionate person and you're sharp you are mentally sharp and smart and look at him holding the book to me, that's like the book of knowledge. It's like, I'm not going to stop learning and you're not going to stop me. Like nobody's going to tell me what to freaking do with my life. <laughs> that's how you come across. We are also like sweet and sense. Oh my gosh. Look, and then we have the king of swords and then the king of cups <laughs> and the princess of cups. So all of this passion behind you is in reality. Like, oh my gosh. And the knight of pentacles. So you are actually a really romantic person you're a really really sweet person and you're abundant is what I see like you're just everything that you do and everything that you say like people really listen to you right and people pay attention to it and through just like being yourself you're able to collect so much from other people you're collecting like memories you're collecting thoughts beliefs because you being so well cultured you, you just have like this arsenal of information and expansiveness about you that really draws people into you that really draws people into wanting to know more about you people just want to know about you and you're able to protect that part of you but also be able to share part of you you know you just have this energy of like being the kind of person that everyone wants to be around, everyone wants to be. And there's also a sense of it where like you do know this, but it, obviously like we're we're people, so you will have doubts about yourself. But this is the reality of it. Sorry, it's in the cards. <laughs> like you're amazing. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, pile number two. So we're going to be doing a video on the best qualities about you. So let's get started. Okay. Oh my gosh, you are a lovey-dovey person. You're someone who's really forgiving. Um, you are willing to give people second chances, um, third, fourth. Like you're just so open-minded and sweet to people. Um, you're very well recognized like people want to come towards you um, and romance you you have like this like I want to say sexy like sexy vibe to you that people really are drawn to um, and the fact that you're like so self-disciplined and you you really master your feelings um, and you're just like so sweet and kind like that makes people want you even more um like they just want to rush in and have you <laughs> so with the wheel it's uh, what I say with the wheel is the wheel and the chariot are both forward movement so you don't ever let anything like hold you back like you you're very passionate like you're an openly passionate person I feel or if you aren't then what what's really beautiful about you and your best quality is like when you do let people in you are really a romantic person you're a very fortunate person so people really look and admire you for being able to oh my gosh Michael came in twice Archangel Michael came in twice that is so interesting. You guys should look into Archangel Michael because obviously he's speaking to you. Um, that is so interesting. So anyway, um, you are a logical person. You're a good leader. You're very disciplined with yourself. Um, I see that like you really hold yourself accountable for the things that you do or that you say. You're just, you're what I'm getting here, honestly, is that you're a really good person in a relationship. I don't know why that's coming across, but your best qualities are how you handle yourself with love. Like with love relationships. Or it could also just be with relationships that are close to you. Like you're an honorable person, you're a kind person, you're a sweet person. Like you put them... It's not that you put them first, because I do see that, but it's essentially like you're just a balanced person. And you're willing to, like, let bygones be bygones if someone upsets you or anything like that. 
like you're willing to just like move forward and everything ah look at that like again with falling in love and a relationship like people just want to love you like that's the best quality about you is your love your love for yourself and your love for other people is just inspiring it's inspiring to other people okay so you're thoughtful you're warm you're sensible you're creative you're sensitive you are sensitive and see with Michael he's crossing his arms <laughs> but and so to me that kind of indicates that sometimes that's what I mean like you're selective you are selective um you're not like this openly mushy gushy person um but it's like with the the right people you are you know you're just a really good like you people admire you for the way that you handle yourself in relationships and this doesn't have to be like a love relationship or anything. Just every relationship, even if it's a work relationship, you just handle yourself so well. You're so likable. You are just, you are like those people, like, it's like they have like that grandmother spirit or that grandfather spirit where it's like this nurturing, cuddly, like comforting. You're com you are comfort food. That's what you are. You're soul food. You are soul food. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a sensible person like any sort of challenges that you have with people like people just feel safe with you they feel safe like even if they mess up which they don't want to mess up with you people don't want to hurt you people don't want to see you sad they don't want to make you upset they don't want to make you mad because they love you so much because you're just this awesome person right and so it's like even though if they do like and they feel so guilty for it. And they feel so bad about it. They just know that like you're someone that they 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 can they will change for. They will change for you. People change for you. It's like even if you think about like a workplace and it's like, oh, like I don't know, someone's like so rude all the time or something. But then with you, they're always so sweet. People know why, you know what I mean? They're like, of course, because this person's great. But, like, people just love that. Just love, love not love that, they love you. People love you. <laughs> you also, you're someone who makes time for the people in your life, you know? And I think, I think that's really admirable. Because personally, I have a problem with that. Um, being able to, like, make time for other people. And I see here that you actually make the effort. You're someone who makes the effort with other people. And that's something that people really appreciate about you. You're grounded. You're sensitive. You're empathetic. You, I'm telling you, you're soul food. You feed people's soul. You make people feel relaxed and at ease. And again, grounded. And transformation. I saw 555 on the camera and I thought about mentioning it. So I'm glad this card came up. So I would look into those numbers um, to see if there's any more information about you and how awesome you are through that. And again, it's like people feel healed by you, by your presence. They feel transformed and healed by you. That change that happens within them is facilitated by being around you, is by being able to see your loving energy and to feel your loving energy and to see what it's like to have a real friend, to have a real relationship, to have someone who respects and values you because you respect and value yourself that's what I'm getting here you know like challenges are nothing like you don't have challenges you know you're like you take things with just ease and grace for real at the council of light you are I, I keep saying it but it's like literally your your soul is so like grounded you are the epitome of like peace like you bring people peace you bring people this feeling of safety of calm of love I mean you your grandma or grandpa energy <laughs> in the best way not in like any other kind of way but like literally like that that comfort especially people who need healing you know, other people in life who need healing or need guidance in any kind of way. I mean, we all need healing and guidance in some way. And just being around you relaxes them. Like, you have this relaxing energy. 
the age of light you've been training for this for a lifetime so you're following your soul purpose and you're just again like a soulful person so look at that see grandmother of jesus so just saying <laughs> oh as i've said um so and it, with the the divine plan and laying foundations and seeding the light like you're helping everybody heal you're a healer and people are able to feel that from you and um, really your best quality is just being able to like follow your life path of of being who you are and being divinely just strong look at that mother healing worthiness break free make a decision so you're somebody that when um i mean i'm just repeating myself at this point honestly like you make people feel worthy like the best qualities about you is that by being so self-assured or just being so supported like you're i feel seriously and i felt this but i'm just gonna have to point it out to you i mean michael's came through multiple times like you you are really divinely guided for real and you know that like you're following your life path it says it on here so if you have any doubts right now please don't doubt yourself it there this is a huge indication that they are here that they're working with you even anna the grandmother of jesus is coming through to know that you're worthy you know to know that if there if there's any healing that you need it's coming to you and will come to you and by helping other people is helping yourself people feel so relaxed with you and they're able to heal themselves. They're able to see the light. They're able to touch into the divine realm because of you. They're able to break free from anything that they felt they, they were trapped in because of you. The, people feel romantic around you. People feel like they can believe in love again because of you. And whether this is because you're with them or they want you which i see you people a lot of people want you or it's just by your experience and things that you know and things that you say and things that are comforting to them you bring the people a lot of hope and reassurance the wheel wasn't that the other wheel that came in was that you this pile the emperor yeah, the wheel, the wheel again with Michael. Look at that. You are just the complete package. You are the complete package. You are ev you're everything. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles. You work hard at what you do. You work hard to like break yourself from any sort of like past pain too. Like you you've put in a lot of work for yourself, and that is. Honestly, it's it's paying off for you. It's paying off for you. And if you ever felt like you were in a stressful situation, like you've been able to move away from it. You've been able to move away from any sort of like problems that have been holding you back. You've been able to learn from it. You're so introspective and you're so smart. You're so like, you're so firm in your belief. You know, I don't know if you, you're aware of this or not. Um, this is your best quality though, is that your best quality is being able to know, have that humility, have that humbleness, have that beautiful connection to spirit. People see that. You are the messenger. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Just like with Michael. That's what we're trying to say here. Look up Michael for real. If you, if you don't know anything about Archangel Michael, you are a messenger just like Archangel Michael. You are a messenger of the divine realm. You are the messenger to heal other people. You're a healer, you guys. You are healing people. You inspire people to just love. You're messengers of love and completeness and whole. Like, you make people feel whole, again. That you, you heal people. So anyway, that is my reading. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!
Hi guys, so we're going to be doing our best qualities. This is pile number three, so pile number three, let it tune into your energies. Pile number three, what do we have going on here for your best qualities? You are a compassionate person, you are well respected. Ooh, I see that you're selective with your love as well, like you are choosy and people love that about you, so it's like when you choose to have these people in your life whether that's romantically or not people feel so honored because you're just this brilliant inspirational person they see you as like you're not a lone wolf necessarily but you can stand on your own is what i'm getting at is like you don't need anybody to help you with anything because you're so capable and smart and you, people rely on you so you're reliable right <clears throat> and so people come to you when they when they want or need something but I feel like honestly like that privacy like I see privacy with you guys and that's so like intriguing to other people and people find that really interesting again um with this like leadership potential here you might be connected to pile number one I'm not quite sure so if you're drawn to both piles then for sure go ahead and um, check that out but I do see you as introspective people so that's one of the best qualities about you I see this repetition of being like in the hermit the hermit's such a smart guy like I actually see the hermit more of a wizard so he's a master of himself and a master of his own elements to me which necess if this isn't with tarot technically that wizard is supposed to be like I think he turns into the emperor but the way that I feel um, when I look at this card is that at once you were the magician now you're the hermit and the hermit to me is a wizard um, in in this feeling in this current feeling so you're able to take people to new heights with the information that you know. You're able to enlighten people um, with any sort of like information that you have. You're a master of your own gifts. You're a master of your job, of your emotions, of really everything that you do. You make sure that you're, you're a master of that. You're romantic, actually. Like you're a deeply romantic person. Again, with a contemplative. So you're a thinker. You're definitely a thinker and again with the single cup that I see so people who are able to get into this romantic partnership with you I really don't feel like if they took it for granted that's their own fault like that's their loss because you are so emotional like you people don't even realize that about you but they know that there's something going on underneath the surface right and it's so mysterious to people and people really are drawn to that they want a part of your heart they want to be a part of your life they just want to know more about you um because it's like you you have this fiery seductive exterior to you it's a very I, I think I said this about pile number one it's like sexy it's sexy and mysterious and um that's something that people really enjoy about you and they're intrigued like you're very intriguing and again with the balance it's like your balance within yourself and you know when it is to take that moment of opportunity you don't just like go out willy-nilly and just you know <laughs> like take risky chances if you if you're not setting yourself up for failure ever like you you just a successful person you're able to succeed because you're smart and you stay up like when everyone's sleeping on things like you're thinking you're a really contemplative person and you're you're focused on your goals right and you don't let your emotions take over you're very, you, you're very much in control of your emotions and you're co in control of your surroundings. And you're, you, you stand out, you stand out around people and you play fair. You're not somebody who sits there and like cuts corners or anything like that. You put in the hard work and people respect that about you. People really like that and admire that about you. They're like, how do they do it? Like, they just know what to do, I guess. 
of the warrior. So again, like you're just a fighter. Like you will, you will accomplish your goals. People know that about you. Like whatever it is that you want, you're going to go after it no matter what. But you have this playful approach to it. Like you don't take it too, too seriously. Like people know you're serious and you stand by what you say, right? Like I, I'm seeing, it didn't come up in here, but I see the justice card. And to me, that's really about being fair, like fairness. And I feel as if you're a very fair person. Like you're not going to sit there and like take advantage of people. You're not going to sit there and like hurt people intentionally just so that you can get ahead in life or anything like that. You put in the work. And you expect that if you put in that work that you're going to get the outcome that you want. And even if there's challenges or anything like that, you push through. You're a warrior. You will push through that because you know like when you stand by your own truth, when you stand by your own beliefs, when you stand by what you want, you're going to get it. It's, it. It seems like it's easy. It comes across to other people like it's so easy. But in reality you put in the work. They don't have, this isn't about everybody else really, but especially for you, like people don't have the drive that you have. Like you have this special kind of drive in you, this like intensity, this fire, this burn in you that you just want to keep going. And it comes across as easy. It comes across like you're dancing through life. It comes across like, oh, you, pile number three can get whatever they want, however they want. It's so easy for them. And you're like, yeah, I make it look easy. <laughs> That's the point. Like, I make it look easy. It's finesse, baby. And then with a no, did pile number one get yes? I think you pile number one get yes. I swear. So this is like the other side of you. If you were drawn to both piles, this is really what's going on. So it's like you're such a complex person. So you already like you're already putting in the work, right? You're already doing everything that you need to do to get to where you want to be. And you know if there's time for you to take a rest. If there's time for you that you need to take a step back and, you know, analyze a situation, you're an analytical person, you know when the right time is to go out on your own adventures, right? And people are like, how do they know? Well, you just, you just do. You just do is what I really see is like, you're just so in tune with what you want and where you're headed that you don't rush things. You're patient. You're patient with yourself because you, you have the end goal in mind. You know where you're headed. You know what you want. And you're not going to sleep over it while other people are sleeping, right? But you're not also going to just keep going, going, going if you feel like you need to take a break. sexuality so you're a very attractive person again people find that mystery in you that intrigue in you so appealing they just want to know more know more know more the self-reliance where again with like being that hermit that self like you don't ask anybody for favors people come to you for favors and even with that, it's like people know that you don't need anybody. You don't need them. Even with a romantic person, they're like so honored because people know that you don't need them. You are the one who allowed them in, into your life. You're the one who chose them to receive all of the goodness that you can provide for them. Like that's an honor to be with you, right? And you're self, oh wait, I already said, and you're self-reliant, again, and with a new location, like you're, you're not afraid to make moves. You're not afraid to make moves if it's going to benefit you. And I don't mean that in like a sneaky way. It's like you, again, you know what you want. You're going to go where that opportunity is. You're going to chase after it. You're transformative. Everything you do transforms into gold. Like you have the Midas touch. <laughs> and kick up your heels because, again, you're a hard worker. And any sort of like 
obstacle that comes in your way, you're able to reflect on it and find the positive in it. You're able to see, like, like you have an awareness about yourself, right? Like, you're able to be self-aware about what happened, what went wrong, what you can do better next time, how you can use this to your advantage. Look at that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The cards are going everywhere sorry um but we have the high priestess the five of wands the ace of pentacles the four of cups so you don't take scraps from anybody you don't expect less than from people like you what comes across here one of your best qualities too is that you will not take crap from anybody if someone gives you crap if someone's like fighting against you for no reason, like they're just like jealous of you or whatever, like people are just causing trouble to cause trouble with you, you step away from it. Like you don't take that from people and you know better, right? Like you're so well balanced and you're so smart. Like you're like, you know what? I know what you're doing. I know like if you're masking it as something else like if you have some sort of like fake people around you or fake friends or people since you're so desirable and people are just like trying to offer you scraps you're like no honey I know my worth like I'm not going to sit there and take that from you sorry it's not going to happen and people know not to mess with you and I think that's another really sexy quality about you you have a lot of options for yourself and the fact that you have so many options and yet you're so giving and you're so kind and you're so loving makes you all that more desirable all that more de desirable to people people really really like that about you and people see you as being someone who has it all who has it all and who could accomplish it all. I swear, you need to go back to watch pile number one because you guys are connected. You're the same person. Yeah. And um, you're not afraid to change things up. You're not afraid to like sit there and say, okay, something's not working for me. Let me reframe this. Let me reframe the whole thing, my ideas and everything. People really like to see you the people that love you, the people that respect you, the people that feel so honored to be part of your life. They love to see this in you. They know that you deserve everything that you have coming for you in all the most wonderful ways. Because they know, they, they value you so much because you have been so generous to them in whichever way that you're generous. And they know that you have so many options. Like you have an option to do anything in the world that you want. You have an option to be with anyone, whoever you want, and yet you're choosing each time you're choosing what's best for you while choosing what's best for other people. You aren't a selfish person at all. You have it all, and yet you give it all, you know, within within your your bounds, you know, whatever's, um, like, you don't over, over give or overshare or anything like that, and I think that's the best quality, well, some of the best qualities in you. So that is my reading. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video.